What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 411. Uh, in today's video, a very quick video for you, we stop off at the Lalabo Lab at the Toronto Pearson International Airport. And as a fragrance head, what better way to pass the time on waiting for a flight than check out some amazing scents. Also, scent of the day is Versace Dreamer. I plan to do a review on this one, guys, so stay tuned for that review. Uh, but before we get into the video, I want to just send a quick shout out to a few of my new subscribers. Uh, Gordon Lovin, thank you for the subscription, man. Lily Mud, appreciate the subscription. Post Cologne, a great reviewer. Uh, check him out. Also, Big Toast, another great reviewer. Check him out as well. Uh, Michael Warburton and also Supa Nato. Uh, thank you guys for your support. Really do appreciate you guys subscribing. And if you like the video watching and you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button at least hit that like button we'll definitely appreciate it so i can mention guys in today's video i go by the lalabo lab uh, but also my lady does something she makes a wonderful scent by combining a lot of different lalabo scents into one and uh, let's just say she was projecting the whole flight so if you guys like that idea and you guys want to see that stay tuned after this intro All right, what's going on guys? So we've been in the airport longer than we should have. We'll get into that story. <laughs> but I found a Lalabo stand. And also it's from Ford stand. Now if you guys know about Lalabo, well if you know about Kevin, he really loved Lalabo. And I finally got to smell Santal 33. Uh, it smells patchouli by itself, some rose by itself, some tonka by itself. There are some really good fragrances here. And the rose actually smells not overly feminine i feel like men could pull it off as well this out this is rose 31 eau de parfum now the 100 ml retails for 370 dollars canadian uh, an amazing scent uh this is very interesting i actually like what they wrote here uh, the perfume aim is clear to transform the famous grass rose a symbol of voluptuousness and unqualified femininity into an assertively virile fragrance that can be worn by men and women so like i mentioned um, they made this one very unisex i really love what they did with this one uh, rose, 30, rose 31 is a great scent um, but for that price point man i'm not 100 percent sure about it next we check out tonka 25 which i had high hopes for Here's Tonka 25. Uh, this one also retails for $370. Um, this one I wasn't really a big fan of, uh, but I do definitely like the, um, the details on this one. An addictive dark fragrance with woodsy notes and, and a subtle hint of sweetness. It evokes the smell of warm skin and resinous woods. Um, again, uh, this scent definitely wasn't for me. The thing is, I do love Tonka when mixed with other scents. Next up is Patchouli 24. I'm a big fan of Patchouli, so I had high hopes for this one as well. Here's Patchouli 24. Um, this one was an interesting scent as well. Wasn't a big fan of it, but I do like the description here. By the way, this one retails for $370 as well for 100 ml. Again, none of these I would actually purchase if I had the funds. There are, I believe, better scents out there. Granted, um, a more, let's say, experienced nose might be able to appreciate these scents slightly better. But Lella Bo, like I mentioned, is a niche brand. So again, uh, they're looking for people who are well-versed and have a mature nose uh, to really appreciate their fragrances. So check this part out. It says, fortunately, a touch of vanilla comes in to calm this little world, bringing peace, uh, sensuality, and softness to these violent, animal notes so yeah this one was all over the place guys uh, this one uh, smelled a bit interesting but again this one wasn't for me either overall i love what the house has to offer i like the fact that they take different notes and add their twist to it i believe they have something for everybody a taste a flavor for everybody all in all i think lalabo is a great house um you know fairly priced for their products but uh, one thing I do like from them is definitely Santal 33. That one I would definitely add to my collection given the chance. Um, but again, Lalabo is a, um, a company that I hear much about these days. I know Kevin Samuels was big on Lalabo. He had a lot of Lalabo fragrances and he's actually the one that introduced me to this niche house. It's just a Lang 49. Let me just smell this off the atomizer. Very strong. Very strong. Wow. I'm surprised. Um, Iris is one of the more dominant male scents. When you think about uh, Prada Lone, or Prada Lone Intense, or Da Vinci Gentleman. Yeah, it's pretty much what I expected. But it's great, man. 
the Labo. Expensive stuff, but great juice. Vetiver is also very uh, masculine. Let's see what it smells like. Okay. Okay. I could see how these um, different houses mix these fragrances and makes them blend to something else. It's actually magic when you think about it. Yeah, guys, that's it. We uh, got to catch a flight soon, so enjoy. But before we catch that flight, let's have some fun with fragrances. We're going to watch the master perfumer herself create her own unique fragrances. You guys are going to like this. Again, we're having fun. Let's not take anything too serious. So I'm feeling a little bit on the wild side. So I'm going to mix a few of these fragrances together. I'm going to layer them on the skin and see how this smells. So first, I'm going to try Ylang. <laughs> As the base, since it's very strong, so I'm just gonna do one spray. And then we are gonna move over to Iris 39. Be careful with the iris. Spray on top of that. And then we are going to throw in some Tonka. Give that a little spray. We'll layer that. Ooh, that one came out a lot. Bergamot. We're gonna layer that. Then some food. Wow. Then we are gonna try some patchouli. As you guys can tell, I love saying these fragrances names, right? And to top it all off, we are going to use rose. And I love rose, so we're going to get this two sprays. And we're going to let that dry and see what kind of magic I've formed here. Let that dry a little bit. Guys, guys. I'm not just saying this because it's on my arm, but this smells amazing. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna last a really long time on the skin. This is amazing. Come on, baby, you have to smell this. It Ooh. smells good, does it not? It's strong. It's definitely strong. All right, guys, as you can see, she created her own masterpiece there. I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. Um, it smelled very good. It projected a lot, but there's a lot of different things going on, as you can imagine. Anyways, we had to catch a flight, so um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, a little run-through at the Pearson International Airport, the Labo Fragrance Lab, and also just checking out some of the other scents in the Duty Free. Have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe, take care, and stay smelling good. Peace.